Hey up everybody, I'm going to do a little modification on this lathe I've been building, this micro lathe. Um, obviously I've been I've been making this, you know, just out of my head as I go along. And uh, as I've come to the final stages, uh, if there's such a thing, a final stage, I'm not sure because I'm going to keep making um, various accessories for it. But as I'm getting closer to finishing it, um, I found a, a few problems that I'd like to change, or I already have changed. I've, one of my previous videos was that um, t belt tensioning mechanism that uh, I, I had to add on to it because it wasn't working. It wasn't easy enough to operate. Anyway, I'll not go into that because I've already done, done a video on that. But this time, it's this cone clutch that I've made. The, the clutch is actually slipping so because everything's so small I can't really get a stronger spring in it um, so what I've thought of doing is uh, taking the cone out the clutch and uh, machining it up perhaps to put some uh, friction material into the cone so that's what I'm going to do next uh, so I'll bring the camera over and I'll show you what I'm talking about here Right, so I've just twisted the lathe around to show you. It's this, this is the part of the clutch that I'm talking about. It's a piece of bronze into a piece of bronze on a 15 degree taper, operated by this lever. Works fine with no load on, but I'll just explain to you what's happening. So that's driving okay. But as soon as I put uh, any resistance on it, the clutch is slipping. So uh, yeah, that's not satisfactory. So I'm going to take this this outer one off, this outer cone, and see if I can get some uh, uh, friction material somehow fastened to it. Not sure how yet, but we'll take it apart and then we'll take it from there. Okay then, I've had a rummage around my box of stash and I've got um, one, two, three, four, three materials which I could use. I've got some cork, I've got that in two thicknesses, I think this one's too thick, I'm not sure. Um, so I've got some cork, I've got some leather, thick, thicker leather and thinner leather. And I've also got some rubber. Um, so uh, looking at this, I think this cork's going to be best. You know, it's going to be a bit of a trial and error job. This um, it'll be a bit of suck it and see. I think. What I'm going to do rather than butcher this, this piece of bronze that I've made. Uh, that part of the clutch from I've got some off cuts of aluminium here I think what I'll do I'll make another half of the clutch up with this uh, aluminium and uh, do a bit of a trial and error with this I think while I'm cutting this taper 15 degree I'm going to put an undercut in uh, not the full width, maybe leave uh, 330 seconds at the front and 330 seconds at the back, undercut it 
and then uh, the depth of that undercut on that taper will be determined by the thickness of this. This is 56 thou this cork so obviously it's got to bed in so it's going to be it's going to become less in isn't it um, so I'll work on that that's 50 thou say and probably put an undercut in the face of this let's say uh, 30 thou so that's going to leave 20 thou um, protruding on the surface all the way around. Cut this into segments and then epoxy the segments in to that undercut and uh, we'll take it from there and try it. Right, so what I've done then, I've put my parting tool uh, perpendicular to the taper and I've gone in 30 thousandths. So that should give me, this is 50 thousandths, this cork, so that should, with a layer of glue on, um, I'm just estimating this, I think that should uh, give me what? Thirty thousandths on the circumference on thirty thousandths on the circumference for where um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to finish turning this then <clears throat> I'll, I'll do it off camera this bit because I've, I've already shown this piece on camera I'm going to uh, just turn that boss on the back part it off and put the keyway in and the four holes so if you've not seen me actually making this, I did this in a previous part on micro lathe. Just look in my playlist. So I've got me inner cone made exactly the same as this bronze one. And I've just had it back in lathe uh, to put some grooves in that to undercut that I did so I can get some glue in. Um, I've got my piece of cork strip cut, just got to degrease that. I didn't think I would have been able to done this but I can, uh, I thought I might have had to cut segments. It's flexible enough to go on without cutting it, I think. So uh, my next dilemma is which glue to use. Um, I've got an all-purpose adhesive. I've got a two-pack resin glue, or I've got contact adhesive. So uh, I think I'm going to use this contact adhesive. We'll try that first. Degrease everything and then uh, let's have a look at it. Just before I glue this, I've been on off camera, I've made this outer part of the clutch in some wood. Same, same angle, uh, so that when I get it glued on, I can then put it in just to keep it uniformly pressed while the adhesive goes off.
I'll just let that glue set overnight, I think. Then 24 hours later, <clears throat> we'll have a look at this. Well, it's just a matter of fitting it back together and trying it now then. Okay, then the moment of truth, has it made any difference? Made a really big difference, that. I probably will modify this and put this bronze one back in. So I think that's it for this one. I've got uh, a few other modifications I want to do. And um, and there's still some bits and pieces need finishing off yet. So I'm not quite there yet with it. And then once all that's done, <coughs> I'm going to look at uh, giving it a test run. And then... Uh, I've got some accessories in mind that I want to make at some point in future. So uh, if you find that useful, interesting, etc, etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.